What's up divas and divos, your girl here back with another video for affordable lace wigs, glueless lace front wigs and hair bundles. So you guys, I have been doing like a lot of the more lower priced lace wigs, which is good because I really don't want anyone to have to spend too much money. So with that being said, I did work with this company prior. I think it was like once, maybe twice. I know it was once on their bundle hair. So this time around, LumereMyHair.com, Lumere Hair, did send me their Brazilian 20 inch deep wave lace frontal. So you guys, this hair, or this lace frontal rather, in 20 inches, you can purchase it for $146.12 for 20 inches. But if you like it longer, like let's say 22, it's 163. If you want 24 inches, it's $183.40. But if you like it shorter than 20, then of course the price is just going to go down. You do have hair texture options or a hair origin options. Brazilian, Indian, Peruvian, or Malaysian, you can definitely choose from either or, and it's 150% density with some baby hairs in it if you are into that, okay? Also, I did go ahead and bleach the knots in the unit because I wasn't like a huge fan of the knots. Let's just be honest, I was not like a huge fan of the knots. And some of them lifted and some of them did. I did tweeze just a little bit of the hairline. It does have the three combs in the front and then there is also a comb and adjustable strap in the nape. The straps are like that olivish color green. No big deal, no one's gonna see that. And then this is right here where all the tracks are sewn on. So it looks like it's like a light brown lace color. The density is decent. Let me tell you, the hair curls so pretty. I washed this, I think, I washed it twice. First I bleached the knots and then I washed and conditioned it. Then I pre-plucked the hairline and then of course when you pre pluck it and you're brushing out all the curls, I had to wash it again. And both times it came back just like this. Like this is a beautiful curl pattern, okay? So for $146.12 you can get you a you know, 20 inch deep wave lace front wig, either Indian, Malaysian, Peruvian, or Brazilian quality. Okay, me personally, I think they're all the same. So with that being said, we're just gonna go ahead and get into this so that way I don't have y'all sitting here all day.
Well, Mayor Hare, now I'm going to say this as just constructive criticism because that's what I'm here for, like to review it. I'm not like a huge fan of the actual lace, okay? As you guys seen, the lace was like giving me some issues. It did not really want to lay down as easy as like other units that I have applied. So this one in particular, I have done this like probably like on two other units. Um, One which I had actually made myself with a frontal that frontal was kind of like the same way too it didn't want to lay down as I would like it to so what I had to do was I had to just kind of like blow dry piece by piece by piece just so that way it'll you know dry and it'll stick and I can move forward so that is what I had to do with this particular unit um, is just dry it piece by piece, but kind of like messed up my baby hairs a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But no biggie because the hair is curly and pretty or deep wave or whatever. This hair is gorgeous. Like it, it, it is shedding right now. Um, you know, it is shedding some as I'm sitting here. Um, it is shedding some and I'm just like picking up the pieces. You know how you just pick up the pieces. Okay. Um, it's not a lot, but it's just like a strand here, a strand there. You know, I just don't really like the feel of the hair on me, but it, it did shed. Um, even after I bleached the knots and washed it, it did shed. Um, you know, I will put the conditioner in it and then I will brush it thoroughly. And that's when I'll notice that if the hair sheds or not. So it did shed just a little. And right now it's shedding as well. Um, as I was raking my fingers through it um so and I'm not sure if that's probably from me like you know cutting the it seems like it just coming from like right here from where I cut the sideburns at so you know that's probably like the loose hairs but also um it's very full like it's not heavy so if you want it to be heavy it's not going to be heavy it's very lightweight but it's very full and i think they lied about the inches to me like seriously because this does not look like 20 inches there's no way that this is 20 inches this this honestly is like damn near like almost this looks like 22 inches. Like, I think I'm a good um, guess at the length of wigs. And 20 inch lace fronts that I've dealt with never come to this length. And if you straighten this, girl, it'll be even longer. You know what I'm saying? It'll be even longer. So I really feel like this is 22 inches. And I'm not saying they lied in a bad way because, honey, I like it long too with this type of hair. So, yes, I do feel like this is definitely longer than 20 inches. And if this is what 20 inches looks like, then, girl, hop on it. Like, so the only thing that disturbed me to the left kind of was the lace. Other than that, it's fine. Um, you just have to make sure that you adhere the lace properly. Like I said, um, just do step by step if you ever get a wig like that. I mean, there are units or frontals like that where they just don't want to lie down. So you have to just do a little bit extra to them. Not saying it's not good or it's not, it's not a good unit. It's just the lace. Sometimes lace has a different type of grip on it. But that's the issue that I had with this one. But overall, the wig is like nice. Like this is like some really honey for $146.12. You cannot go wrong. Now, mind you, if you go on another website that's a little bit more pricier, you're probably going to be paying like at least $250 to $300 for this particular unit. Um, do you get a lot of parting? You don't get a lot of parting. You just get like the average amount of parting, which is probably like four and a half to five inches straight in the middle. You're not going to get all that parting on the side, but if you're not into all of that, you just want to put it on and look cute, cute, then you can definitely spend $146. And I mean, so what? It's a lace front. You can still put it up in like a ponytail or bun. You just got to finagle it, honeys. Finagle it and you'll be good to go. Oh, Lumiere hair. Okay, you did your thing. The prices are decent i like when i can get a unit that is low in price like 146 dollars is not bad at all versus like 300 so i love you guys stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up share with everybody check the links below if you want a nice cheap wig and on that note i love you and i'll see you in a soon to come video